hello welcome to selection fish hub in today's video i'll be teaching you and i'll be demonstrating the theory of using probiotics to farm fish and this is a process of farming fish without water change to grow out this is a sample of the probiotics that we use for fish farming here in this farm so probiotics are beneficial bacteria that are non-pathogenic to the organisms that exert positive effect or influence to the fishes or the aquatic lives that they are introduced to so the characteristics of this probiotic basically is one they are non-pathogenic they can resist high acidity so they have resistance to high acidity so these are some of the characteristics of a probiotic or an organism or a bacteria being called a probiotic it must have a usefulness to the place it is being introduced to so basically this is the probiotics that we use and as you can see the probiotics that we use here is bioclean aquafish so this uh, product is a probiotics from a company called organic biota it's an indian based product which is being shipped down to us and if you are interested in this product you can click on the link in the description and place an order for this product and you can get this probiotics directly sent to you if you are new to this channel try and subscribe and turn on your notification button so that anytime we upload an important video or especially on this series on how to farm fish without water change this particular probiotic system of fish farming have numerous advantages i'll be mentioning the advantages of farming fish without water change to you one these probiotics have the advantage of building up the immune system giving them resistance to harmful bacteria and influx of disease to the fish for the fish or the pond tank is reduced so this probiotics also form proteinous food to the fish which the fish in turn feeds on and you find out that you have reduced artificial feed to, and it helps the fish to have a lower feed conversion ratio you have a better feed conversion while you use these probiotics these are some of the advantages or the importance of probiotics then most importantly you have a good water management you have a good water management because bacteria are going to be breaking down the harmful organic waste that is going to be introduced to the water and all the nitrite buildup of water is all completely removed by this probiotics and in turn it forms proteinous food which is an alternative source of feed to the fish so i'm going to be showing you basically when you introduce this probiotics to the water what it forms and how this process works so i'm going to be going out to the farm sites now and i'm going to be showing you how this probiotics works and how efficient it can be and also you have the opportunity of farming fish in a place that there is water challenge and even if you have enough or sufficient water availability in underground or anywhere the money that you spend as fuel or to produce energy especially in this time there are uncertainties and there are high cost of feed to the fish and fuel so you have the advantage of farming fish without necessarily spending much on petrol as a source of energy to pump water so these are the flocks that are being produced when the bacteria act on the on eating feed and the waste feed to produce this greenish substance that is on top of the water called flux you can see some of the flux is covered all over the surface area of the pond and why you are seeing much of the flux is because the fish have not grown to consume much of the flux so what you will notice is when the fish grow bigger they eat more of the flux though they will still be present in the pond but they might not be visible with your eye so when the fish grow they consume more of the flux so furthermore what we basically do is adding sand to the pond bottom filling up the tank with water 
and we have three basic properties we use for this purpose one is called bioclean aqua plus the bioclean aqua plus is used for disease prevention and cure it is the basic properties for biosecurity basically so we advise that we use preventive measures rather than treatment so you use the bioclean aqua plus for that so when you fill up your tank you use four grams for 16,000 liters of water which is approximately the size of water contained in a 10 by 10 feet four feet height pond of course you are giving three, uh, one feet allowance for free board to allow for free board so four gram is just equivalent to a plastic teaspoon that is being leveled so you just add it to a little water and spread it around the pond surface so the next step is to culture your probiotics bioclean aqua fish you see the process now so what we just do is just add water to the pond then you get your sand you spread it out evenly to the pond bottom you just have to do whichever process that is best for you you might decide to add the sand before you fill up the water or you might fill up the water before you add the sand whichever whichever of the process is very effective you know some questions might arise like do i add the sand before i add water whichever process you decide to use is okay i'm going to show you the two methods that we use in this um, process so as you can see in this particular method we added water before we, we are adding our sand to the bottom of the tank so this process is also effective for people that already have fish in their tank so you can just reduce the water to your pond then this is the second process where you can add your uh, sand first before you fill up your tank with water so this particular tank is a tank that we have already harvested the fish in it like i said earlier on i said whenever you harvest your fish you can still continue culturing your fish in the same tank without necessarily adding another probiotics because the bacteria are still active on the soil so that's basically why we add sand to the bond bottom to the bottom of the pond so you can see spreading out the sand in the pond so after this you are still going to fill, in, fill up your tank with water whichever of the process that is best for you you can use the two method the two methods are all effective either ways just make sure you add a thin layer of soil to the pond bottom and make sure that the sand covers the whole pond so when you are done spreading your sand evenly to the pond bottom remember that when you introduce fish they are still going to help you spread out the sand because when they swim around they will spread some of the sand also so why the sand was clustering in one section is because of water flow so the during the draining of the tank for harvest the water pushed most of the sand to the side that the outlet is situated but then you do not need to worry about that because there are still much bacteria attached to the soil so the idea is to make the bacteria prolific so they dominate the water and they also dominate the soil so even when you remove the water it is still abundant in the soil so when you spread out evenly you add your water to the normal level it should be remember you are filling up your tank to the normal level so this is the sample of the pond that is having a sand evenly spread out so the next thing you do is just to turn up your tap and fill up your tank with water so you just allow your tank to fill up and get to the normal level where it should be remember it's just three properties we are using one for biosecurity that is for prevention of disease two for ammonia breakdown as the uneating feed and food and number three is bioclean aqua gut
the one we use with the feed. So this is the BioClean Aqua fish that we culture for ammonia breakdown. So you mix 50 grams of this probiotics with 10 liters of water. This particular pocket, I'm going to empty this probiotics into is calibrated already. This is a, there is a calibration on the bucket. So I filled up my water to the 10 liter gauge of the calibration and um, the probiotics will be opened and emptied into this 10 liters of water. Then we are going to allow for five days. So we culture this probiotics for five days. So when you add 50 gram, each of these probiotics come in 50 gram pack. So you empty all into a 10 liters of water. Then you keep this um, bucket having the water or any container you empty the 50 gram of probiotics into in a shade like in a house you don't need to be exposed to sun at this point then you cover halfway you are not going to cover the whole bucket or the whole container so you cover halfway to avoid insects or any rodent falling into it or basically things entering into the distance so but you need a little bit space so that the bacteria in form of this probiotic that we're adding to the water will receive some oxygen they also need oxygen so when you are done with that, you keep and allow for five days. So you are allowing for five days so it can culture. Then you now empty the water into the tank. You want the probiotics to dominate. 